boys and girls, students of Buddhist Sunday school, parents, grandparents, teachers of Sunday school and moral education. May you all be well and peaceful. For this lesson, we are going to tell you a children's story with a moral, a very simple story entitled Impatient Lemmy. Impatient, not patient. Tidak sabar. Lemmy, the name of a little monkey. There are important moral lessons we can learn from this simple story. So as I go along, I will explain the story to you. And at the end, we will summarize the moral lessons and the important Dharma points. So let us now launch the PowerPoint. Okay. Ah, you can see this. First slide here, uh, you see all about monkeys. The monkeys like to swing from tree to tree, right? And we are going to see what happened to one little monkey. So let us uh, go to the next slide. Uh, this is also another cover picture of the family of monkeys. And as I said just now, the title is Impatient Lemmy. Lemmy, the name of a little monkey. Now let us move on. Lemmy is an active monkey. He is the youngest in his family. He has two brothers. They are Moni and Tommy. Ah, so you can see the picture. This little monkey, the youngest, his name is Lemmy. And his two brothers are named Moni and Tommy, right? So three children in the family, or three little monkeys in the monkey family. Now let us go. So Moni and Tommy are fatter and taller than Lemmy. They are stronger than him. Two, Larry always dreams of being big and strong like them. So of course, Moni and Tommy are the elder brothers of Lemmy. So naturally, they are bigger in size. Huh? So they are better, taller, stronger. So you know, this little Lemmy, wants to be like them. He is not patient to grow up. So he always dreams, you know, of being like the big brothers, just as strong as they are, that you can see, right? So instead of doing his work and studying, he is daydreaming, right? Daydreaming. So you can understand this. Huh? Every evening, Lemmy and his family go to a park. There are many tall trees. Moni and Tommy climb the trees. Then they swing from branch to branch. Ah, you know monkeys like to climb up the trees and they like to swing from one tree to another like Tarzan. <laughs> but you are not a monkey and you are not Tarzan also. So you must not do that. It is very dangerous because if you fall, you can break your bones, your leg bones, or even your hand bones, right? So it's a very dangerous thing to do. But monkeys do that. That's the nature of monkeys. Uh, they like to move around, uh, jump around, swing around, right? But they must have enough strength. Uh. So a little let me hear, right? So he cannot do that like, because he's too young, right? So the two brothers uh, have a fine time swinging from tree to tree. So Lemmy wants to swing like his brothers too, but his parents tell him that he cannot do so. 
you are still young and not strong enough, say his parents. Ah, his parents advise him, right? You are still too young. You don't have enough strength. You cannot just swing from tree to tree like your elder brothers because you are not strong and you may fall and it can be very dangerous. So the parents give little Lemmy very good advice, isn't it? Ah, let us see whether he follows the parents' advice. His parents advise him to eat no food. When you are bigger and stronger, you can swing from tree to tree, just like your brothers do, says father. Ah, father monkey tells Lemmy, ah, you must eat more food, right? And you will grow stronger, more healthy. Then the time will come when you are ready to swing, just like your elder brothers. Ah, so little children, if you are in standard one or standard two, uh, make sure that you eat regularly, regular food, breakfast, lunch, dinner, and nutritious food. Uh, some children don't like to eat vegetables and fruits. That is not good because veg vegetables and fruits have vitamin C. So you must have a balanced diet. Uh, so this is one important point that you have to learn. Now let's go on. Lemmy is disappointed. So he is not happy. Huh? He feels let down. He's impatient. He does sabah. He cannot wait that long. He wants to be like his brothers now. He wanders away and thinks hard. Amurayawa. So you know in the park, right? In the park. So he wanders away and then starts to think what he can do. He is disappointed that he cannot swing just like the brothers. Uh, so let us see what happens. One day, Father and mother have to visit some relatives who are ill at the hospital, who are sick at the hospital. So, father monkey and the mother monkey have to visit their relatives. So, they leave the brothers, the three brothers at the park to play on their own. Take care of your younger brother. They remind Moni and Tommy. Ah, the elder brothers, Moni and Tommy. Yes, we shall answer the two older ones. That means Moni and Tommy answer. La. Ah, so the father and mother leave for the hospital to visit the sick relative. Ah, so you can see some animation here. At first, Lemmy sits quietly and watches his brothers play. He sees them chasing each other from one tree to another. He wants to join them, but they do not allow him to do so because mommy and daddy have said that he cannot swing from tree to tree because he's too young. So they say, no, you sit and wait. Uh, the elder brothers tell him. Huh? So Lemmy, very disappointed. He is watching the brothers having so much fun, uh, he thinks. Uh, he sees them playing a uh, chasing game uh, from one tree to another. Uh, so let us see what happens next. Then Lemmy has an idea. Uh, he thinks in, a, in an unwise way. Uh, he has an idea. What does he do? He slowly walks away to another part of the park. His brothers cannot see him. His brothers maybe are too busy, la, are busy playing, that they do not see him walking away quietly. All right? Instead of sitting on the bench, he has wandered away quietly to go to another park. Another part of the park, the same part, another part. 
so the brothers cannot see him. You know what he does? Wow, Lemmy is happy that he is away from his brothers. He climbs up a short tree. Then he swings to the branch of the next tree. Uh, so, you know, he doesn't follow the advice of the parents, you know. And even his brothers tell him cannot, but he still does it. So he climbs up the short tree and then he swings to the branch of the next tree. Now, if were to fall, uh, it's very dangerous, isn't it? Uh, so let's see. So Larry is pleased with himself. Wow, he finds uh, great fun doing it. He doesn't know the danger because his hands are not strong enough. So he swings to another tree. Then he climbs onto a taller tree and then swings to a shorter tree. Now you can see the picture. Wow, he thinks, huh? First time uh, successful, so he does it again. And this time, he climbs onto a taller tree. And then he jumps and swings to a shorter tree. Dangerous, isn't it? So, let us see what is going to happen, right? Can he succeed? Or oh, an accident is awaiting? Ah, so the monkey ah, is very, very excited. Ah. The other monkey ah, watching. Ah. Ah, this one is another monkey ah, in the forest. Ah. Or in the park. Next, he wants to swing far. Wow, oh, he's getting very ambitious. You know, He wants to pick a tree that is further away and he wants to swing further away. You know? In other words, he wants to Jump uh, and then uh, catches on the branch of another tree, uh, uh, swinging. Uh, right. So he climbs high up a tall tree. You can see this tall tree. Then he uses all his strength and jumps to the next tree. This is called swinging from tree to tree. But he's very young, isn't he? He doesn't have enough strength. Even his hands also are not strong enough, he lacks the strength. And the distance uh, is further away already, the next tree. So you see, he's getting scared already. Uh, can he catch on to the branch of the other tree? If not, he will fall. So let us see, see uh, this monkey uh, is uh, afraid. Oh, Kan Chong really. is afraid whether uh, uh, he will fall or not, isn't it? Uh, uh, so let's see. Wow, suddenly he feels he's moving very fast, you know. He tries to grab the branches of the trees, but his hands are too short. Uh, the next tree too far away from the tree he has just climbed. And his hands are not only too short, but of course also not strong enough. Wow. He's getting a spin uh, on the head already. He sees the trees around him going in circles. No? I mean, how one already, right? He's giddy. He feels giddy already because he's going to fall onto the ground. And he's getting scared, right? So when he's getting scared, so he cannot see clearly. He cannot think clearly also. He seems to see the trees all going around in circles. He cannot catch on to another tree. So, what happens? Ah, oh, really? La, his head is spinning. Huh? Just like a giddiness. He knows he's falling already because he has nothing to hold on already. Right? Very scared already. You can see his face here. Ah, he is afraid. And he screams loudly. No, no. Majority. It's quite, quite near. Wow. Then he lands on the ground with a loud pop. Right? 
Uh, a very loud sound relief. Hush, hush. He cries in pain. Of course, if you land on the hard ground, you might hurt any part of your body, right? Hands or legs or your buttock or your uh, backbone. So many parts possible uh, to be hurt. So dangerous, you know, right? So, let us see. So, the let me die. Uh, let's look at the next brain. And, uh, he slowly, uh, slowly he tries to get up. Uh, but his body aches. Uh, painful uh, because the uh, body had, has landed on the hard ground. He tries to get up once again. But the pain is too much to bear. It's too painful. He cannot bear the pain. He lies down on the ground. We cannot get up already. Feeling very disappointed. Very upset. Uh, very fearful and sad. That uh, maybe he is of course now regretting already. It's too late. He has fallen. He cannot get up. His body is in great pain. Uh, probably certain parts of the hand also. So... What happens next? So, at a distance away, the elder brothers, Moni and Tommy, hear Lammy's screams. And immediately, they rush to his side. Oh, they also feel very scared already. So, there's this park ranger. No? He's something like a policeman. La who patrols and looks after the park to see anybody is in danger or any accident or any encounter with certain animals get bitten by certain animals in the park. Uh, this is the work of the park rangers. So they can see like Mata, Mata, all right, like police. So the park ranger also hears the scream and he also goes to the scene as well. Wow, he sees the situation not so good. He can't get up. So the park rangers calls for an ambulance. You know what's the ambulance? Ah, I know you, you see uh, ambulance right, coming out of the hospital, uh, going to a house maybe to help somebody to be sent to the hospital. Uh, ambulance, uh, I think, you know. Uh, here in Malay, also, they use the word ambulance. Uh, so he calls for an ambulance immediately. So ter uh, So this little monkey is crying. <laughs> Soon the ambulance arrives. And then you know the ambulance makes a sound, the siren. Whoa, when you see an ambulance uh, on the road, if you are traveling along the road, you must make way for the ambulance, you know. Right? Because the ambulance is in a hurry. Somebody's life may be in danger. So it's only proper that the car that you're in or motorbike or whatever vehicle has to try to uh, give way or uh, let the ambulance pass first. The ambulance even doesn't follow traffic lights uh, because it's in a hurry. Uh, but some people I find, uh, they don't bother, you know, right? They just don't bother the, uh, the ambulance is coming. Uh, with the siren, the sound, you know, I think you heard the sound. Uh, so, the paramedics, that means the people who are maybe hospital assistants, they are medical assistants, they are not doctors yet, right? But they help. So, they help carry Lammy maybe on a stretcher. Uh, yeah, I put him on the stretcher, right? I think you have seen St. John's ambulance. Uh, uh, they have the stretcher. Then they carry the stretcher into the ambulance. And of course, the ambulance very quickly sends Lemmy to the hospital. Uh, you can see this, uh, the siren waving, uh, the ambulance uh, sending Lemmy to the hospital. So, what happens? At the hospital, the doctor examines Lemmy, right? That's the doctor. Uh, this doctor is coming really. Ah, uh, so the doctor uh, using his stethoscope, and then uh, maybe he orders an X-ray, and luckily Lemmy is not bodily injured, la, right? Luckily, you know, he has hurt his elbow only, right? 
though not fractured by anyone, and some minor bruises on his hands and legs. That means maybe some cuts or maybe you know uh, some scratches uh, uh, from you know, the fall right on the ground or whatever. So maybe some blood lah, bleeding, but not serious lah, right? Luckily he didn't bang his head, you know. Otherwise you can have a concussion. Or you can have a fracture of the hand or the leg. Or worse still, if he fractures his spine at the back, uh, he can become paralyzed, you know. Uh, that's why uh, little children uh, must not just simply jump here, jump there, from one desk to another, right? And they like to run and then jump as they go down the stairs. I see that happening in the Buddhist Association. Wow, you know. Very difficult for the teachers uh, to keep track of all the 100 or 200 students, uh, uh, like monkeys, uh, some of them. Uh. Uh, so you must realize the danger, you see. Uh, so then, so the nurse gave Lemmy some medicine, right? You can see here the nurse. After taking it, it feels drowsy. Drowsy means, uh, you know, something like a, a bit giddy, lah. Right, not so clear the mind, like you know, feeling very sleepy, blur in the mind, drowsy, like going to fall asleep. And true enough, la, he soon falls asleep, right? Ah, uh, then of course, by that time, uh, the mother and father visited him together with the two brothers, la, right? Bonnie and uh, Tommy, isn't it? Uh, so, so they leave him to stay in the hospital. Maybe he has to stay a few days to be examined to see whether any other part has got injured or hurt. So the family uh, go back first. Uh, family members go back first. Uh. Then, so he wakes up on the hospital bed. He feels lonely and sad because he's alone now. The parents and the brothers have gone home. Oh, then he begins to think. He knows he cannot swing already from tree to tree for some time. Uh, because the injuries uh, have to heal. Uh, he has hurt himself. And actually he does not like staying in the hospital. Uh, right? Unlike the home. But he has no choice. And who is the cause of this? Himself. He doesn't follow advice, so he gets the fall, and then he has to suffer the pain, and first of all, to stay in the hospital. Ah, so he has to stay in the hospital, you see, right? So let's see next. So in the hospital, lying on the bed, he begins to think, ah, yeah, Jeremy wishes he had not swung from one tree to another, lah. He should have listened to his parents' advice and waited, uh, and waited for his and waited for his turn. Yes, and waited. He should have waited for his turn uh, when he is bigger and stronger. But he's impatient, right? No patience. That's why he becomes a patient in the hospital. Ah, uh, you know, interesting, huh? If you are not patient, you can become a patient in the hospital. Ah. So, if only he had not rushed into it, he would not be in hospital today. Uh. So, I think maybe just a few days. Lah. So, soon it is time for Lemmy to go home. He's happy. Lah. Now you can see. Uh, he's so happy. He can go back now. Mommy and Daddy uh, come to fetch him. And now he has learned his lesson. He knows he should be patient and wait for his turn. Uh, just have to wait until he's stronger, right? Uh, bigger in size. Then only he can go swinging from tree to tree like the brothers, but he's impatient. So you see, he has also learned he should act the way little children of his age do. Little children too young, not enough strength, right? And then maybe also cannot think that clearly yet. All right, so he knows this important lesson. So 
we are going to learn some important Dharma points and also moral lessons from this story. So I hope you understand this. Now let us go to the end. And we are going to look at four points, right? These four points, lessons to learn from this story. So the first one, heed the wise advice of parents, teachers, holy people, and the elders. Heed means pay attention to, follow carefully, right? The wise nasihat, na. parents, uh, they are older, they have experience, and also teachers. So if they give you good advice, and also holy people, uh, maybe the church priest or the Buddhist temple monks or the Swami. Ah, so these people, they are more experienced, mature. And also older people, like even your grandparents, right? Uncles, aunties. So they give you good advice, you must follow. If you don't follow, then something terrible may happen, as you can see. Uh, what happens to uh, Lemmy, who does not follow the advice? The second one, learn to be patient, right? Many people are very impatient, you know. Right? You can see people beating traffic lights. I have told you one incident, uh, one of my uh, son and chi, uh, 23 student, you know. So I asked the class, if... Uh, you or oh, anyone uh, who are to be sitting by the side uh, of your father who is driving a car and the car now is nearing, uh, coming near to the traffic lights and you see the traffic light turning orange. It's orange already. Orange. Uh. So what should be done? What should you tell the father? You know, he's impatient. Wants to beat the traffic light. You know what the student tells the class uh, and tells me? Uh, uh, she said, uh, I will shout loudly to my father. Quite enough, quite enough, quite enough. Wow, impatient, you know, wants to rush across the traffic lights uh, when the color is orange. You know. And then very fast, he turns to red and if another, car, another car comes in the other direction and you have an accident. Uh. So this is impatience. You must learn to be patient in whatever you do. In school work also, some projects, uh, you know, some are no patient. They cannot get it going well. So, impatience can lead you to problems and trouble. Uh, just like the case of Lemmy. Uh. So, very important, Mr. Sabah, right? And sometimes, you know, I see the association Visak Day or any or Mother's Day or Father's Day. We have a lot of food and goodies, you know. So we must be patient and queue up. But some are like monkeys, you know, right? Just rush up for the ice cream, rush for the cake uh, without queuing. Of course, the teachers uh, uh, will take charge and punish them, uh, you see. So patience very important. Orderly, line up. Uh, wait for your turn, then you can get the food, isn't it? Uh, next. Do not be callous, heedless, and foolish. You will earn a bad character. That means uh, you must always be careful, Xiao Xing. Uh, cautious. Uh, heedless means uh, you are not cautious. Uh, you are, you know, very, very careless, like, actually. Right? You never think carefully and you do something foolish. And then, you know, you maybe meet with trouble. And not only that, maybe you cause other people trouble and problems. Or you cause an accident. So in time to come, you have a bad reputation. People will say, yeah, this person, uh, this boy, uh, very careless. And then he doesn't bother about other people. Uh, he simply does things without thinking. Right? He is very foolish. one. Oh, you have that type of... Reputation, uh, huh? who would like a student like this? Huh? You earn a bad character. Huh? Isn't it? Uh, 
In fact, many accidents uh, result, not only for young people, all ages, old people, middle age, old, old. Many accidents result from carelessness. Uh, they are not mindful. Uh, you see, mindful and not having the wisdom to think carefully, right? Like, you know, a place is dangerous, right? You know, maybe, uh, you know, the teachers advise you now, don't go into the deep waters, uh, in the, uh, I mean, in the sea, uh, but they don't follow, uh, and then very dangerous accidents can happen. You can drown, isn't it, right? Or maybe even climbing a hill, right? In the outing, so many things, uh, the teachers will give you instructions. So you must listen carefully with mindfulness, right? And then use your wisdom. Now to be able to think clearly, oh, if I do this, uh, it is dangerous, right? I might fall, I might drown, right? I might fall down the staircase because I'm not mindful and I am careless. La. So many things, la. whatever you do, or you are using certain uh, instruments, or even at home you're using a knife, for example. So you have to be careful, you have to be mindful, pay attention to what you're doing. You simply cut that, you only cut the fruit in the end, you cut off your fingers. Huh? So you eat your fingers. Huh? <laughs> uh, so, uh, you know, sometimes uh, these students uh, don't listen. I remember one of my relatives, I think uh, son or daughter, right? When the child was around, uh, maybe uh, in NG, uh, or maybe kindergarten, uh, or early NG, uh, so the parents will tell the, uh, the child, right, the boy, la, now make sure you don't jump from one place to another, like landing like that, uh, jumping, swinging. La, right? You know, in the room, uh, you have two beds, la, right, uh, separated by a distance. So the parents already tell all the instructions, but this kid, they don't follow. This kid doesn't follow. So uh, he jumps from one bed to another bed, one bed to another bed, and one day, there was, a, there was a fall, right? So he fell down and fractured his uh, thing, elbow or something like that. For a young boy, you know, hardly six or seven years old, you know. So has to be operated. Uh. Uh, in the hospital, uh, the parents have to spend, have to spend uh, maybe six, seven, eight thousand, you know, private hospital. Uh, so this is what happens. Uh. Not listening to instruction, no wisdom, not mindful, careless, all these things. It reminds me of the little song uh, that I usually I teach uh, at the preschool for many years. Uh, remember about five little monkeys? Five little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell down and bumped his head. Mommy called the doctor and doctor says, no more monkey jumping on the bed. Remember? Uh, then after that, you have four left. Four little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell down and mommy's head. Mama called the doctor and doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. Remember? Huh. Uh, of course, when I teach that lesson, I will tell the student, when you go back, make sure you don't behave like monkeys. This is what monkeys do. And you see, uh, even the monkeys who can jump, uh, fall down and hurt their head. So never, never try that. So before, uh, there's a nice song, you know, but you have to teach them uh, and warn them about that. Uh, so, this is a very simple story, but very important point for us to bear in mind, isn't it? Right? So, uh, to conclude, so when you behave patiently, you will succeed certainly. Uh, patience is very important in whatever you do, isn't it? Uh, in this case, let me, uh, not patient, uh, didn't follow the advice of the parent. So remember, patience is very important in whatever you do. Then the other points, we must be using our clear thinking wisdom. We must be mindful. Right? Don't do foolish things like jumping uh, from a very tall tree <laughs> to a shorter tree. Right? So we have come to the end of this lesson. So I hope you have learned important moral lessons as well as good Dharma points of patience, mindfulness, wisdom, right? Uh, carefulness. Uh, all these are important Dharma points. So I thank you. And also parents, 
grandparents and teachers for taking time, effort to follow this presentation. And we hope that you will heed uh, the advice that is being given. So to conclude, we say sadhu three times. Sadhu, sadhu, sadhu. May you be well and peaceful.